What's up, guys? It is Ray Ace here, and hopefully y'all have had a blessed night. But last night, it was apparently interesting. Uh, so when Ryan went to sleep last night, because the time zone I'm in, um, Dr. Disrespect posted that a Twitch ban update, and then you also had on top of that a fight with a fucking comedian because it was over a pedo joke that was on a comment. So not exactly the environment, and it also involved a three-month-old. But, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, I will always be a warrior. You can't stop me. You can't stop me now. All right, before we actually look at this on fucking Twitter, I don't know why they call it X. I'm sorry, I'm not calling it X because there's so many things that can go wrong. Type up X video and see what you find. But two X employees, God damn it, uh, that were no longer under the NDA from Twitch had posted on Twitter that the doc ban was originally from... Texting a minor, the age has been a little different. I've heard different stories, 16, 17. So, not too for sure on that part. But then uh, Doc tried to respond with a post. He redacted it and then pulled it back up and then done two legal bound posts saying that he couldn't say anything. But last night he finally admitted it. So, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the effing bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here. Now, there is one thing that a lot of people I know have not given him, given him credit on. And that was the fact that he wasn't trying to No, it's I didn't do that. No, 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 it's not me. Uh, he just sat there and said, yeah, I fucked up. So I will give him that. But how do you fuck up with a kid? That's what's getting me is like, it's just, it's a little weird. Uh, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Now, this is a slight discrepancy because it, the Midnight Society game studio actually said that they had terminated him, but he's acting like it was a mutual step down. So is this like a fuck you, you can't fire me, I quit type thing? Like, you know, like a lot of kids do because I've had that shit working as a manager. Oh, but like for real though, like why? It just it, there's a little bit of discrepancies here and there, and it's got a lot of people get questioning his authenticity. Uh, our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I never want to jeopardize the culture we carefully crafted. See, that's the thing, though, is with anything like that, if you're the face of the company, it already jeopardizes it whenever you make a mistake like that. So I think he also did get his salary anyways from this. I'm not for sure about that, but I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, everybody has wanted to, been wanting to know why I was banned on Twitch, but the reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. About a few years, like, I don't know if Twitch was trying to protect him or what, but it's just kind of weird. Uh, now that two former employee Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whispered messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Now, originally, this was edited. Uh, I don't know if you can see the edit. Yeah, last edited, 1.23 p.m. June 25th of 2024. Uh, so this was originally edited to not have minor. Like, he had it on there that edited it to have minor off. Then all the backlash came, and then he put it back in. Uh, the answer is yes.
Ooh, every time I read that, I just die. I die a little inside. Oh, part of me just, God. What are the real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the directional direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. See, this is fucking weird, too. How do you say, okay, were the intentions real? No. But then say, okay, well, sometimes, you know, I just slid the little D pick right in there. I just casually slid that in there. Or just casually slid something else in there. You know, a lot of this shit is just whenever responsibility comes, slaps you right in the face, and then you look at it and you're like, yep, nope. Walking out of this party, I'm taking a fucking U-turn and going back to fuck that. Because they don't want to accept what they've done. Uh, nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. Then how did it lean in the direction of being inappropriate without sending some, some kind of like sexual messages or something to where Twitch was like, no. And even Midnight was like, we ain't doing this. Which in that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear. It was not a criminal case against me or no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. No, but then again, though, it still sounds like you paid the person off with the settlement. So it doesn't fucking matter. It just still looks wrong in everybody's eyes. It's like, I, I, that, this is the reason why I'm protective of my daughter. And here in a bit, we'll get into a video that involves somebody and their kid. Because this is actually going to be two different things in one. Because last night was all over the goddamn place. So... The other one that I'm going to be talking about in regards to a three-month-old boy and a father and a comedian. So this is the reason why I'm very protective of my daughter is because not very many people, I, and I don't understand it, because back in the day, we used to call them actually what they are, creeps, pedos. But nowadays, I where I, I heard... Some states in the West, yeah, mate, some states in the West actually prefer calling them maps. And I don't know how fucking true that is, but if that is, that means the West is gone. But maps is supposed to stand for minor attracted persons, which is supposed to be a justification for y'all being just goddamn creepy. This is like fucking wrong and weird and fucked. Um, now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. At least you did own it. You did fucking own it. So, I mean... Oh... Uh... Better hope to God you're like Superman, and the only thing I can break you is fucking kryptonite. Now, with all this said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Mm, per a heba file? Because I can't say the original name if you don't know what a heba file is. If, or if you do, you're fucking smart. Not very many people do. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Now, this is to basically say, fuck you. You're a hater if you think I'm a creep or if you think it was weird for me to mess with a minor, which everybody thinks is weird. But it, it's fucking with me because it's like he's trying to sit there and go after you for you hating him for what he had done that was legally and morally unjust and wrong. And he's not wanting to pick up the blame, but instead pin it on other people in a roundabout way, if you can kind of catch it. It's like, yeah, I did what I did, but fuck you for hating me for what I did. And you kind of get what I mean. It's almost like a manipul like a bad relationship. He's trying to man emotionally manipulate you. I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always shown me 
and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys. Like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. Now, I feel like we're going to have a mini lad situation. Because, let's go to the comments. There were Twitch whisper messages with an individual back minor back in 2017 that were casual. I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Well, you kind of have to pick one low. Um... Dr. Disrespects POV EDP 445. Uh, so many words to say that you were texting a minor inappropriately. Were there real intentions behind this message? Is absolutely not. Smoking too much meth. <laughs> I like docking this content, but unless you were lied to about their age, which I feel like would have been mentioned. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. If it, the age would have been lied about, it would have been brought up. I don't see how. These were casual mutual. Yeah, like if you if you look at this, like he's getting dunked on right now. It is fucking terrible. Like because he knows what he did is wrong, and we'll get into that here in a minute too. But even he sit there, it, it feels like a, we're gonna have a fucking. Thing illegal. So. Even just right there, why don't you just clear up? Listen, I was not talking to a minor and we were not talking sexually and nothing was supposed to happen. The fact that he didn't explicitly say that probably gives you the indication that there may have been something, but people still reserve judgment. Actually edited this statement twice. So initially he posted it with the word minor in it saying, were there messages with an individual minor? The answer is yes. But then shortly after he published it, he edited the word minor out of it. So he removed that. He redacted it like a fucking CIA document, trying to bury it, just snapping it out of existence. So then it read, were there messages with an individual? The answer is yes. That I effing hate even hearing about because it's talking about you. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the F out of here with that shit. Okay, I mean, the only exaggeration people will do is that you actually went ahead and touched a minor, which you didn't do, okay? But you were planning on, okay? Mini lad. Like, disappears off of YouTube, comes back. And the reason why I'm going to say this is because of here in a minute, what I'm about to get into. But disappears from YouTube, tries to make a comeback. Everybody shits all over him. So he disappears, tries to make a comeback. Everybody shits all over him. Yeah, it's going to be, this is about to be a terrible situation. But trust me when I say this to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero life experience. I don't give a fuck about you. Well, that makes Life experience comes in different ways because my life experience has been nothing but fucking hell. Literally. Mother's dead. Stepdad's dead. Half family's dead. Like, bro, everybody's got a different life experience. You can't judge one life experience off of a fucking another. Trust me. I grew up on the streets and escaped from the streets with the help of my biological dad, which I was lied to about my whole life. So... Everybody's life experience is fucking different, and that's what gets me about some of these uh, influencers is because, like, him, he's a ex-game developer. He's got multi-millions. He ain't got to worry about shit for the rest of his life. If he wants to quit YouTube right now, he quit. He could. Hell, if he took that mustache off and that fucking uh, wig, if you ever look him up with that shit, you can't even recognize him. So take that shit off. Go as a game developer somewhere. You've already done it before. If you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine, but I'm not a, f but I'm not fucking going anywhere. That's what many lads said. I'm not the same guy that made the this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended va vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. So basically, he's kind of like Andrew Tating it, saying that the Matrix is gonna make him disappear. Um. One thing that got me about this statement was this. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream. So it was like he already knew that something about this shit was uh, going to happen. And the extended vacation, that is the mini lad excuse. So when mini lad got caught messaging 14, 15, 16, like all these minors, and then he got kicked out of the Van Noss crew, 
He took an extended vacation, came back, got shit on. Then took an extended vacation, came back, got shit on. Even to the point where he was trying to shit on a viewer on stream. So, like, dude, this stuff never goes well. It doesn't. If you go through these comments, not oomph. You and Drake would get along well. God damn! Oh, that comment's gotta hurt. Editing minor in and out of the statement is wild. I got caught before I did anything illegal with a minor. Summed it up for you. Uh, dude, this is fucking sad. Okay, so this video comes from that of what happened to a father who was protecting his three-month-old because he posted a picture on Twitter. I don't call it X. I fucking hate that statement. But posted on Twitter saying stuff like, you know, your kid would be good with a black cock and shit like that, and the kid is like three months old. Uh, so the father traced him down to a showing that he was going to do, showed up there and confronted the father, which I can't blame him because let me tell you something. If you did this shit to my daughter, my daughter just turned five years old. Well, I don't give a flying fuck. I will fucking go to jail for my kid. But the fact of the matter is you don't talk about that to any kid. That's the whole reason why I had the issue with the doctor disrespect or deal. Even though technically it wasn't a kid, it was a teenager which classifies him as a hebophile which i don't understand but if you use the word the p word youtube wants to just fucking crack down on you so if you use the other version of it they don't give a shit are youtube fucking weird but there's a lot of weird shit going on with a lot of this and especially with these comedians and stuff. And because right here he says he wants to t give dick to a, or the child will take dick from a blue collar black worker. This is just fucked up. Why would you even bring up a kid like that? Like, dude, why? But until next time, y'all, peace out. Drop a like, subscribe, comment down below. Deuces. Where did you?